So I've reinvested every single dividend that I made this year back into my portfolio and you won't believe what it has done. Stick around to find out. Let's get into the video. Hey YouTube, welcome to the Dream Green Show. I'm Zeke and today I'm rocking my Texas Tested hat. Only people from Texas will know what this is. If you know what it means, go down to the comment section, leave exactly what it means. You can't really buy this hat anywhere. You have to earn it. Uh, if you get it right in the comment section, I'll pin you and your, and your comment will be the top pin under this video. So if you know what this means, uh, go ahead, leave a comment down in the comment section. And while you're down there, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. But as I said before, this year has been a very great year of growth for me. Uh, if we take a look at my account, in the last year, I've grown my account 20.88% up $2,391.14. So what I did, I actually started a challenge for myself at the beginning of the year in January. I invested $200 every two weeks, no, $200 every month. And then it went from $200 every month into my Robinhood account. After February, I started investing $200 every two weeks into my Robinhood account. And around six months ago, I started to invest $200 every single week into my Robinhood account. So we're gonna take a look at my dividends portfolio 12 months ago in January just so you can see how much I was getting paid in dividends then versus how much I'm getting paid in dividends now. Now that I had up my um, spending allowance on Robinhood from $200 a month to $200 every single week. And, and it's gonna show you my exponential growth on how my dividend payments have been over the last couple of months. So if we go take a look at my account statements all the way back in January, 12 months ago okay so we take a look at my account in january 12 months ago i had a starting balance of four thousand thirty nine dollars and 27 cents so i had a four thousand dollar account at the beginning of the year and now my account is closing in on fourteen thousand dollars so i'll grow for uh, uh a ten thousand dollars in a single year that is amazing for me i never thought that would happen and in january last year I mean, January of this year, 12 months ago, I got paid a total of 78 cents worth of dividends. To me at the time, that wasn't a lot, 78 cents. I really didn't understand dividends and how uh, it could have an exponential growth on me at the time. 78 cents really seemed small, but most dividend accounts do start off small and then they start to accumulate over time. I really couldn't reinvest 78 cents. There's no stock on Robinhood that I could buy for 78 cents. So I just stayed, stayed in my account until I reinvested another $200. So I have $200.78 in my account for me to buy some more dividend um, stocks. But at the time, I wasn't buying uh, dividend stocks. I wasn't dividend investing. I was um, buying good quality stocks that um that i seen potential in and growing a lot of the shares that i bought was actually amd amd over the last year is up 150 percent i bought a lot of shares of amd uh, and, and my average cost was 18 dollars and 22 cents so i brought some growth stocks at the beginning in january february march i was really buying growth stocks i really didn't start buying uh, double digit dividend stocks until six months ago and i'm going to show you how my account grew and my dividend payouts from the first month of 78 cents to six months ago to now on how much i'm making in dividends and, and you'll be surprised of the amount of growth that i have in just a single year so this was one of the growth stocks i got i'm um, total return up 149 percent on amd up 1173 dollars from amd Another growth stock that I was buying in January was Netflix. Um, also in January, I bought some Facebook. And I think the dividend stock I had at the time was WM Waste Management and Intel. And I also had some Sony at the time that was paying dividends, but those were my only dividend paying stocks. I was really buying growth stocks. So we go back to my account and we look at, let's say, 
just a couple of months ago after I've been dividend investing for six months strong, investing $200 every single week. If we take a look at October, I got paid a total of $48.32. The year to date on my dividends was $109. So almost half of my dividends came from the month of October alone. So that's when you could really show that over the last six months, I've been reinvesting all of my dividends. And now $48, I can reinvest that and buy some more dividend stocks. It's not just that I have 78 cents no more. I actually getting paid enough to actually go buy more stocks with the dividends that I made from that month. At the time, my opening balance was $8,785.22. And my closing balance that month was $11,113.16. So I got paid um, year to date $109.48. And if we look at just last month, uh, November, I got paid $21.80. Uh, once again, enough just to make uh, for I could go back and buy some more quality dividend paying stocks. Okay. Uh, the dividends stocks that was are. Right. Okay. So you're wondering what dividend paying stocks that I focus on when I did start dividend investing. So I did also, I did continue to buy growth stocks. And I also bought dividend stocks. And when I did get paid out in those dividends, I reinvested it back into those dividend paying stocks. So some dividend paying stocks that I was buying at the time, I was buying waste management, which pays a dividend of 1.8%. Well, I'm going to show you the big ones that I invested into. So I have $741 invested into AT&T. It pays a dividend of 5.31%. So I was really focused on dividends that had a dividend yield over 3%. So AT&T is one of those. SPHD was one of those. It pays a dividend of 4.07%. Uh, AGNC was a huge one. Uh, pays me a double digit dividend of 10.65%. Uh, SPYD, another one that pays over 4.43%. NRZ, my biggest dividend yield paying stock, pays over 12.5%. Zero uh, percent. Uh, VOO o, Realty Income pays over three point seven three percent, and those were my high-paying stocks. Anything over three three point five was my high-paying dividend stocks. Now I have two stocks that pays double digits, which is AGNC and NRZ. So if we take a look at December, this month of dividend stocks. If you guys want to know how much I made in this dividend stocks, here it goes right here. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, we go back to December. On December 2nd, INTC, Intel paid me 32 cents. WTR, water, it pays me 94 cents. Uh, December 2nd, Ford F paid me 60 cents. Uh, AGNC, my double digit paying stock paid me 10 dollars and 88 cents i currently at the time i own 68 shares of agnc and now i own 73 shares of agnc so next time next month i'll get paid more uh, stocks of uh more money from agnc um o on december 13th 91 cents ko coca-cola paid me two dollars and 40 cents um wm waste management paid me two dollars and 56 cents uh, SPYD paid me $6.46. VOO paid me $2.86. And SPHD paid me a total of $5.42 for a grand total of $33.35. Okay, $33.35 I will be making in December, the 12th month of the year, compared to the first month of the year where I was just making 78 cents. I couldn't even reinvest 78 cents to buy any more stocks if I want to. Now in December, not my highest paying dividend month yet, but I'm getting paid $33.35. So I'll be able to buy, a, once again, more dividend stocks with the dividend payments that I received from the month of January. And also for 2020, I'm going to continue to invest $200 every single week into my Robinhood account to get my dividend payments. If I started off at 78 cents last year, and ended at $33. So in January, if I start around $33, where can I end 
uh, in December of 2020. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get it to triple digit numbers by the end of 2020 to where I make over hundred dollars every single month from dividends if I continue to invest in this style. But other than that, guys, if you do know what this hat means, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description. If you get it right, I'll pin you. And while you're down there in the comment section, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps this channel out a lot. If you want to use Robinhood, i also leave that link down in the description. You can sign up and you will get a free stock. Also, I will get a free stock. And then whatever stock that you receive from me, just leave it down in the comment section when you come back to this video to check it out. But other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.